Hi everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. And today I wanted to go over a project that I worked on over the last week and really probably have maybe four or five hours of just time into doing this. And it was the first try <laughs> uh, that I had in, in making something like this actually. So, so what I wanted to do for the channel uh, just to have as part of some of my videos and things like that was a YouTube subscriber counter. So if you've seen those, probably some other YouTubers out there have some little numbering thing in the background of some of their videos that show basically their subscriber count. And so I wanted to get one of those. And I had looked actually online. There, are, there was at least a year ago or so a company that made like a little programmable box where one of the things you can configure it for it to show is YouTube counts and things like that. And it was like $200 or something. Then I was just doing some Google searching and YouTube searching and a bunch of people make these, right? Or I've seen at least uh, uh, quite a few that, that have made these. And I'll link in the description below to the, a few of the different resources that I used to, to make this, including the Thingiverse model for the 3D printed box. But basically what it consists of is a LED matrix panel that I bought totally assembled from Amazon. So it has a circuit board backing on there uh, and it's all wired up, etc. So that's a eight by eight matrix of LEDs in each one of these sections. And then I also used a Node MCU microcontroller, which is fairly cheap. So it's basically just a Wi-Fi enabled Arduino compatible uh, microprocessor system on a chip, circuit board, everything, right? So, so it's pretty easy to set up and program and you can use the Arduino IDE and all kinds of stuff to, to actually control it. So the cool thing is the Node MCU has a Wi-Fi, embedded Wi-Fi uh, chip and antenna on it. So you can make connections to the internet via your router, right? Like anything else. So long story short, I, you know, I, I basically 3D printed this box on my 3D printer and it was already sized to fit this LED matrix on there. Now there are a few things I want to change on this and I'm probably going to reprint the back of the case. The design as it was uploaded and on Thingiverse had a cutout for an on off switch, as you can see here, so you can turn it on and off. I decided not to use something that needed a switch. Uh, this was designed for having a battery with a switch to turn it on and off. I instead just put in a USB cable so that I can power it. And I, you know, just planning on either leaving it plugged in or just unplugging it when I'm done. So I didn't really need that. And I'll flip to some video that I took of the different pieces as I was putting it together. But this is the finished product. And I also had some issues with the print resolution or the 3D printer messing up on a few different areas, but uh, and I don't really care. I, I'm not using this for anything other than kind of a experiment slash prototype. And the other thing, I need to get another, somehow I ordered a pack of four of these little rubber feet and it only came with three. So once I get into another one, I'll put it on there because there's had some little indentations for the feet. But long story short, this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to plug it in real quick and show you what it what it does. So it just says Wi-Fi. Right now it's trying to connect to my Wi-Fi. And now it is displaying my current subscriber count. So I have 3,010 subscribers at this moment. So if you'd like to see that number go up, <laughs> <laughs> please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, I would love uh, to kind of keep increasing my subscriber count. And I'm not even being too ambitious with this because uh, from the display here, I can probably only hold up to 999,999 subscribers. So hopefully this uh, won't, hopefully I'll get there someday, but uh, you know, I'm not being too, too ambitious at this point. And, and basically what happens if I unplug it, 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 uh, it you know, turns off, plug it back in. You can see it says Wi-Fi. It's just a little placeholder while it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. And once it connects, shows the current subscriber count. And this is using the YouTube API. And um, yeah, basically Arduino code, 
a few libraries to drive the matrix LED, another library to connect to the YouTube API, have to have a Google account and get an API key for the Google API, for the YouTube API, but once you have that stuff set up, it's, it's fairly straightforward to flash the Node MCU and get this all hooked up. Really only took me about two nights of just tinkering around to get the everything working, and then it took me another night to kind of print the box and get everything mounted and, and set. So I'm gonna jump over to a little bit of video of the 3D printing of the box and also a little bit of what it looks on the inside. And I'll finish up on the computer. So as you can see here, I am using my Monoprice 3D printer to print the box. And this took, I don't know, maybe six hours of time after I started the print to complete. So not going to do anything else here but basically that was the that was the whole process it just uh, loaded to the printer let the printer go at it and and that's about it and then here you can see on the inside of the box the node mcu is just kind of placed in there and then you, i don't show it here but i just use a little hot glue to kind of hold everything in place and you can see the back side of the led matrix there and the connection wires, etc. So that's basically what it looks like on the inside, and then the back is just placed on and attached with some screws. So hopefully this was helpful and informative. I will link to a bunch of stuff in the description below where you can get these parts, where you can get the code, the Thingiverse 3D model for the box and all of that. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask below. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Consider subscribing to the channel so I can make this number keep going up. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.